Team AI. Please welcome John Fugelsang. Thank you. Thank you very much for being here. Justin, I really appreciate your logic of defending humans by talking about Donald Trump and Kanye West. Well played. Um, <laughs> And Vivek Ramaswamy, thanks for bringing him up. Vivek Ramaswamy is like Eddie Haskell from Leave it to Beaver after doing blow all night with James Woods, okay? <laughs> um, but great, a I have a mental illness celebrity list. Uh, Jeffrey Dahmer, John Wayne Gacy, it goes on. Um, uh, but here's the deal, I wanna thank Mark Normand for flaking on everyone and winning this for us. The metaphor is unspeakable. Now, <laughs> I want you to imagine Team Human Imagine Team Human in the fourth millennium BC, Lower Mesopotamia. Here is the argument you would hear, ready? Do you assholes realize this wheel of yours is gonna really piss off the gods? <laughs> that's, that's it. The gods will punish us and we'll go extinct because of your technology. They were scared of the wheel when it first began. By 2000 BC, the Egyptians added spokes to the wheel and then it got lighter, and then things sped up. Agriculture, building cities, civilization, we ate better, we were stronger, we lived longer, and technology made our lives easier. That's how it works. Yes, there have been millions of deaths by cars and trains over the years, but do we want to give up the wheel? Do we? No. These Sumerians want you to be afraid of the wheel. Because they can't see with their Bronze Age viewing that the wheel is going to make life easier. Yes, technology can lead to bad things. The printing press led directly to Elon Musk destroying Twitter. I know. <laughs> and, and, and you fucking call it Twitter. None of this act. Don't, you dead name it. It's Twitter. Dead name that stuff. <laughs> Apartheid McBrat face. Yeah, but along the way, we had printing presses and we had literature and Shakespeare and Judy Bloom. I'm not saying... The wheel is always going to be good, but do they want to get rid of the wheel now after all those car accidents? After Princess Diana, they don't. <laughs> now, folks, let me talk about folks. Um, in the words of Bill Hicks, people suck. And uh, New Yorkers will get this. Some of my favorite people are people. Those are the exceptions. Um, <laughs> I like you people very much. You know why? Because you're not going to fall into this bullshit paradigm our lovely hosts have imposed on us of humans versus AI. I'd like to think that we're a bit uh, more non-binary than that. <laughs> Upper West Side shit indeed. So, um, ever notice whenever a human makes a mistake, it's, oop, my bad. Uh, but when AI designed by humans does what it's programmed to do, it's, oop, robot apocalypse. Now, here's the thing. They, they always thought, by the way, iRobot made by humans. So, I rest my case. Have you, did, were you on that flight? Did you watch it? Um, the, the, the killer robot cautionary tale is what we in the outpatient community call a tell. Now, um, here's the deal. Uh, that is humans projecting shitty human tendencies onto innocent robots. Who does that? Only people. Um, and yes, maybe artificial intelligence will topple democracies and upend economies, and one day we'll all be enslaved by Siri and Alexa, and it'll be the end of human life as we know it, and worst of all, Actors might not get paid, but <laughs> nothing, really? Okay. <laughs> but everything they accuse AI of doing someday, hypothetically, maybe in the future that's evil, is shit humans have already done. War, famine, enslavement, kid rock music. Um, <laughs> it's human Trumpism. It's, uh, AI is probably going to be as bad as us, so since we're both equally bad, uh, why not pick me? Now, yes. Humans invented artificial intelligence and organic stupidity. So, so hear me out. What if, instead of hurting humanity, what if AI makes us stronger and smarter and better? AI will not destroy the world. AI may, in fact, save it. What is AI? Uh, application of mathematics and software code to teach computers how to understand, synthesize, and generate knowledge in ways similar to how people do. And that's it. Are you scared of that? That's gonna make your life so much easier. Machine learning can identify intricate problems and patterns, and it'll help us with education, business, disaster management, defense, entertainment. So we're gonna get faster diagnoses of disease because of this. AI is not going away like Kardashians and herpes. It is here forever. <laughs> Unlike Kardashians and herpes, it makes life better. Now, 
what will AI do? Interpret information with incredible speed and accuracy. Complex problem solving. Substantially less human error. AI never has fatigue. It's never tired. Productivity goes up. AI can work in deadly environments that aren't safe for humans, like Hoboken. Um, <laughs> And it's all about letting AI do the work instead of humans having to do the work. Data analysis, pattern recognition, re manages repetitive jobs and operations. Oh, yeah, won't it suck to never again get to do remedial monotonous tasks like data collection? Aren't you going to miss that shit when AI does it for you? Aren't you going to miss software testing? Aren't you going to miss making spreadsheets and creating invoices once AI does it? No, here's the deal. It, 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 AI is going to do so much of our work for us, which will finally give us a chance to catch up on our goddamn work. That's what it's going to do. <laughs> like sleeping with Donald Trump, AI does the work real humans don't want to do. <laughs> now, uh, what won't AI do? I'm glad you asked. It won't whine about wanting to work remotely. <laughs> no mood swings. Uh, AI can't get drunk. It can't get hooked on Oxy and sell your TV while it's house-sitting for you on Craigslist. AI will not bring a hooker to your party and do blow in the bathroom, Mark Norman, if you're watching. <laughs> AI's not going to keep asking you to please come see its shitty one-person show. AI's not going to beg you to come see its improv troupe again. AI is not going to ever tweet out photos of Hunter Biden's dick. Never. Because AI is not a lonely racist on Twitter, okay? Ted Cruz tweeted out photos of Hunter Biden's dick because he's human, and that's shitty. And I don't even think that's legal where he lives in Cancun. Um, <laughs> and humans, by the way, invented the dick pic, all right? That's Generation X's one great contribution to world call. That's our polio vaccine, the dick pic. Thank you, ladies. Uh, every time you ask ChatGPT a question, it does an enormous number of calculations in seconds to, within seconds, give you back words and answer your questions. It's amazing. Now, you try getting a man of any age to write a thank you note. <laughs> Guys, here's the deal. I think that you are smart enough to realize that we are safe from robots as long as robots never figure out how to check that I'm not a robot box. Um, <laughs> in closing, <laughs> the irony of talking about artificial intelligence is it's the people who are fake. And you're New Yorkers, you know this. And I know you being New Yorkers, you're not going to fall into the human supremacist camp, are you? I mean, come on. Like, like of all the cities on Earth, we are experts at knowing why people suck. <laughs> we're not all wearing black because we're not nihilists, all right? That's, that's all I'm saying. Uh, that's our motto in the city. People suck, and where's my phone? That's it. <laughs> uh, voting AI in this competition tonight is a protest vote against people, but it's also a protest vote against a system imposed on us by humans tonight that says you've got to make some kind of binary choice. These small-minded, made-up limitations humans force on us. This can unite liberals and conservatives because it's a vote to say humans suck and they deserve easier lives. <laughs> so don't let me down, people. I'm not saying that AI is better than human beings. I'm saying AI makes being human better. <laughs> and isn't that worth the occasional violent robot uprising? Thank you very much. John Fugelsang, everyone!